right, so today I want to show you how you can get, uh, actually teach your dog to be shaped. So shaping is where the dog just offers different kinds of behaviors that it comes up with on its own and then you can praise it for those uh, different behaviors and that way you can actually shape a dog towards a specific trick that you want so you praise for every single behavior that leads towards the goal behavior that you have in mind. So a really, really good way to teach this is by using an object at first and then just praising for every kind of interaction that your dog can come up with uh, that involves that object. So here we're just going to do um, a little bit of shaping with a box. We're just going to start by leaving it on the floor and then praising for any kind of interaction our dogs comes up with. And then we might eventually try and uh, shift the box a little bit around to try and come up with different kinds of behaviors. Um, and you can do this in several ways. Uh, you can use a, a verbal marker, a verbal praising word, uh, or you can use a clicker. That's really up to you. I'm gonna uh, show you how to do both of them because it's, it's really the same principle. It's just two different sounds, but I'm just gonna start with uh, the verbal marker because if you haven't done shaping before, that might be what your, uh, what your dog is used to. Um, and then I'll just show you that it's actually the exact same thing with a clicker. Um, but you might just have to uh, start your dog a little bit on the clicker before using that sound uh, just so the dog knows that this is actually a, a, a praising sound, it's a really good sound. So I just have one rule for this game, uh, for my dog at least, and that is that he's allowed to offer the same behavior twice and then he's supposed to come up with something else. So I do have um, a cue that sort of encourages him to offer something else if he's stuck. And that's uh, simply what can you come up with? I just ask him, what do you want to do? Uh, what, can, what can you do? Um, it's not something that I've uh, spent time on teaching him. It's just something I've said uh, whenever I've wanted a different kind of behavior. And then I've praised if he's come up with a different kind of behavior. So let's just get started. Place your, uh, your object in front of you somewhere that is very visible to the dog and then simply wait out for the dog's response. Okay. Yes! Super! Yes! 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 Okay? Yes! Oh, there's a fly in here. He doesn't know what to do about the fly.
Yes. 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 Okay. And now I'll just show that it's the exact same principle whether you use a marking word or a clicking sound. Um, and I might <laughs> accidentally have used a clicking sound uh, because I'm so used to doing that. Um, so you might already have seen a little bit in this video, uh, but now I'll do it only with the clicking sound. shaping your dog if you suddenly see uh, a behavior that you actually find very interesting or something that you like to work towards then just don't use the rule of only allowing your dog to perform the same behavior twice don't ask for something else just keep praising for that behavior that leads towards what it is that you actually want if you then suddenly get a dog that um, offers the wanted behavior um, again and again and again then you can face in a cue for it because then the dog has been rewarded so many times for doing this behavior when it then starts hearing uh, a word associated with what it's doing and being praised for it, it will start associating that word with the behavior and will then later on be able to recall that behavior when you say the word again. So just be sure that you say the word before the behavior begins, then the behavior begins and you then praise. So it follows cue, behavior, praise. Yeah? Okay, so if you have any questions, please just let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to help you out. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you find it really useful um, and we'll be able to come up with lots and lots of different cool tricks very soon. Okay, see you guys! <laughs>